Hello everyone, I am Saurabh and I am available with my new video that is based on AWS security tools. So before starting, please have a look below URL that is my channel URL. Please subscribe it. So today we will discuss various AWS security tools available for protection and security of your application, your infrastructure in AWS. So this is the major services available in AWS. That is AWS Shield, Amazon Mashi, Amazon Guard Duty, AWS Config, AWS Secret Managers, AWS Inspector, AWS Web, and AWS CloudTrail. These are the major services in, available in AWS for security of your data, your application and infrastructure. So first is AWS Shield. So AWS Shield is basically a survey that automatically detect and mitigate uh, your DDoS, DDoS attack on your application. So basically it manages your, it manages DDoS protection. So there is a, uh, basically it works uh, on top of AWS Firewall Manager. Now basically it is available AWS Seal Advanced Service also. That include not only DDoS protection but other various things. And that manages AWS basically, uh, it provides the protection to the AWS Global Accelerator load balancer and even cloud fund distribution elastic ips route 53 uh, hosted zones also here in backend basically aws sealed response team work that address your uh, any that address basically uh, if any ddos events happen uh, next is amazon messi so Amazon Messi is a data security service that uh, basically based on machine learning and depends on some patterns which discover and help to protect your sensitive data. Next is Amazon Guard Duty. So Guard Duty is basically threat protection service that uh, basically continuous monitor your AWS account, instances, your, all the instances running, all the containers, your workload, users, databases, and all the storage for put and it basically protect from potential threats. Let's have a look details on Guard Duty. So, Amazon Guard Duty basically analyze entire AWS environment for potential threats. It use tested IP list for secure communication. That is basically it white list of tested IPs. Is provide S3 protection, EKS protection, Kubernetes service, and also malware protection from for EC2 instances and container workloads. So basically, it continuously analyze and auto automatically and deter, uh, detect the uh, threats in your environment, in your all AWS environment. So basically, it intelligently detects threats and continuously monitor your cloud trail. A VPC flow logs, DNS logs, S3 data events, Kubernetes audit logs, and take action as per the event. So basically, here it use uh, basically it use AWS Lambda function, which basically initiate for automated re remediation and prevention. Now. Next is AWS Config. So basically AWS uh, Config is a monitor and assess your configuration changes. It is simply a config. It is simply change management. So basically it dis discover the resources and record configuration and understand relationship and capture the changes. Next one is AWS Secrets Manager. So Secret Manager basically helps to manage your uh, confidential uh, data. 
that is a database credentials api keys etc so basically it helps you manage retrieve and rotate database credentials api keys and other secrets throughout their life cycle the next is more the most important services that is aws inspector so basically aws inspector discovers and scan aws workloads for software uh, vulnerabilities like uh, you have um, asked uh, a third party for vapt and it basically find out the unintended network exposure with a single click this is a basically the uh, vulnerability management solution for amazon ec2 aws lambda functions containers container images in uh, amazon ecr so let's have a look on this so this is amazon inspector continuously scan for vulnerability and network exposure it provides security assessment of application settings and configuration of ec2 stands so it find out the critical vulnerability basically it depends it it, it uh, continuously scanning and find out the critical vulnerability and report it critical finding of ec2 instances container images container repository i already uh, explained it and also it also scan the lambda function for if there is any vulnerability in lambda function you have created and it basically uh, it is uh, it works uh, on the basis of continuous scanning and maintain vulnerability database to show you the result another is the most important service is aws web web application firewall so basically uh, aws firewall manager it works below the aws firewall uh, manager so on top Uh, you can say the aws shield after that aws firewall firewall manager and after that aws web it protects your web application running on your http https protocol so it it is also on top of amazon cloud front uh, application load balancer amazon api gateway aws app sync so basically here you can build your own rules using the uh, A rule builder or uh, you can also use here a json code and deploy the managed rule that is managed by the aws or aws marketplace seller there are many aws marketplace seller which uh, build these policies so it basically protect against the vulnerability and exploit such as sql injection sql i or xss attacks filter out unwanted traffic by ip address or by defining a specific pattern it block and filter out it use a, use basically amazon cloud watch to receive incoming traffic metrics and use amazon kinesis data fire hose to request details and tune rules based on metrics and log data so basically it, in this it is a continuous process it continuously tuning the rules uh, for your uh, application protection and another win other another one is the most important aws service that is aws cloud trail so basically it, it is a service that helps you enable operational and risk auditing governance and compliance for your aws so if you are using some uh, undergoing pci dss compliance or anything you are storing like a credit card data something like that so you can use this service for the uh, governance purposes auditing purpose and be, uh, uh, Yeah, if you are getting any compliance, if you come under any compliance. Now, so there are services we can. There are many services we can break down the AWS security services based on a uh, few things. Uh, means uh, we can categorize them, categorize these services based on the just like a data protection, identity and access management, infrastructure protection. Threat detection and continuously monitoring compliance and data privacy. So, so all the services have different purpose. So based on that, we can categorize them and we can break down in different category. 
so first is data protection so basically it is used for keeping your data secure ensure that data not lost in transition prevent data corruption in storage so suppose any data is you in your s3 or something like that so it prevent from corruption it encrypt the data data duplication for safety purpose and data continuously data monitoring so there are services like aws secret manager aws certificate manager aws cloud hsm this is for hardware security module aws kms aws message amazon message that is that are the services basically comes under data protection security services next is identity and access management so basically here you can you have already already used iam services so here you can basically define the credential and privileges to different users groups and roles based on the requirement you can uh, create different policies here that is for the basically the it prevent the unauthorized access to your aws resources aws services aws account here you can use the services aws sso amazon cognito also aws resource access manager and also the aws directory service the next is uh, infrastructure protection that is the first security of infrastructure you all your ec2 instances container ec cks for safety of everything what are the resources running in your infrastructure in your aws account that is the protection that is uh, basically the infrastructure protection so in this services main services are aws firewall manager aws waf aws shield i have already explained the hierarchy that on top aws shield after that aws firewall manager then aws waf so uh, basically these services used in combination in these all three combination it better protect for your infrastructure and next is threat detection and continuous monitoring so basically it helps in visibility in deployment identify suspicious events and provide insights for optimization purpose so there are many services comes here first is aws cloud trail which i already explained amazon inspector aws security hub is also a third party tool also aws config amazon guard dt and aws iot device defender so these are the services major services which comes under this it pro basically provide the visibility to your deployment operation and identify the suspicious events in your uh, aws account it also helps to ensure performance standards and maintain and provide insight of for the optimization purpose and the last one is compliance and data privacy so basically for meeting the compliance standards if you comes under pci you can go with pci dss compliance or other compliance so basically uh, these are the services and it maintain the security for of the sensitive information even you logged in your uh, who logged in your account your aws your, your ec2 instances everything is maintained by the uh, everything comes under the compliance and data privacy so basically it ensure that you are meeting compliance standards and maintain the security of sensitive information these services require you to understand what regulation apply to your data and what those regulations require so major service aws artifacts it has a very long and detailed topic so that will be covered in later so basically these are the services which comes uh, under the these are the services available in aws for the security of your infrastructure your application your data and there are many logs which are used for the these security purpose so this is all for this video please subscribe my channel and keep updated for the latest and upcoming videos thank you very much